Hey, today, today I want to show you how to fix a hole in a t-shirt. So for me, quite frequently I get them right around my stomach. You can kind of see <laughs> the tiny little holes here. You can see the light through them. Um, that's basically I lean against things and I snag the threads. So this mending kit is something that I sell and it has everything you need in it to mend all sorts of knit fabrics. So first we have a darning egg. We're not going to use that with this repair. Um, it's mostly for small tubes, um, things like socks, uh, sleeves, stuff like that. The spring tension hoop, which we will be using. A binder clip, which we also will not be using. That's more for the small tubes. You can check out my other tutorial videos for that. Um, this little magnifying lens, very handy. Um, we're going to use that. And this little tin full of goodies. So there's an elastic that's also for the small tube fixing. Um, some yarn, some fun yarn for visible mending on the, on like socks and other small tubey things. Um, this we're going to do is much more of an invisible mending. So um, also in this little slidey tin we have two bent tip needles. Um, these are also for darning other things. And um, little pin marker things um, for catching the loops once they're exposed. Um, these ones are actually useful. These tiny, tiny ones are really useful for when you need to catch a snag in a t-shirt. So let's get all up in here for a minute. Okay, so you can see I've got holes. Um, if you look at them, let me slide this out. If you look at them through the magnifying lens, let's see if I can manage this two-handed. Um, let's get some light behind. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. It also could be helpful to, you know, actually like put a light behind you if you're working on something small like this. Um, okay, but like if we look in here, you can see those little, there's little loops. Let's see. Let me stick my finger behind it. Maybe you can see it better. Nope. We need the lights. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, let me move this around. There you go. So you can see that there are little loops above and below the hole in the, in the knit structure. So, like, if you can see these, I guess you kind of need good eyes, but... Um, put on some reading glasses, something like that. So I can see these little hoops and I'm going to actually, or little loops, and you know, you can snag them. This is actually kind of big for this fine, fine knit. Um, so maybe just don't wear the shirt <laughs> until you've got it ready to, to be mended. So I've got some thread that's basically matching. It's as close as I've got, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to make a length of thread. It doesn't have to be very long. And I'm going to thread it onto this needle. And we're going to do a doubled thread. So hang it, let the extra twist out of the thread. You can move your, move your fingers along the threads like that to pull some extra twist out. Um, and then make the ends even, or even-ish, and then we're going to tie a knot in the end. Okay? Doesn't have to be real close, it doesn't have to be a big knot, just a single knot will do. And actually I'm going to snip some of this excess off. Okay, so I've got my knot at the end of my thread, and we're going to work from the inside of the t-shirt. Okay, so if I'm looking at the inside, you can see I've actually already repaired one. Um, I'm going to use this spring tension hoop. So the spring tension works. You grab these little handles and squishing it makes the circle smaller so that it will fit inside of the channel inside of this hoop, the plastic part. Okay. So we're going to stick, looking at the wrong side of the fabric or the t-shirt, right? 
we're going to stick the metal underneath and then put the plastic on top and make it a little snug so I can spring. There we go. So now I have a nice solid canvas to be able to fix this repair. And I'm going to, and if it helps you to use the magnifying glass, do it. Um, I'm just gonna use my good eyes here. I'm gonna grab this loop, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna thread my needle back between the two threads. So you can see the knot there. I'm threading my needle back between those two threads so that I can snug that knot right up against the fabric. And then I'm gonna go down to the other loops on the other end of, edge of the repair and catch them and then come back up to the top and back down to the next loop that's missing and back up and kind of pull this snug. So you can see on the other side, I haven't got it all. We've still got some light coming through. So I'm gonna grab more loops. And basically I'm just trying to anchor all of these loops together. Got some very vocal dogs in the studio. Okay, so now I've got all of these loops pulled taut against each other and I'm just going to grab from the side of the repair here let me get that thread even there we go okay so from the side of the repair I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to grab the other side so that I bring the sides in okay and then thread my needle through one of these stitches to anchor the thread, okay, and then tie a knot. Okay, so I have now repaired this and I did it kind of in a, you know, somewhat brighter thread. If you did a thread that was more matching, it would match better. Um, sometimes it shows through depending on the size of the hole, sometimes it doesn't. Like this one I repaired and it doesn't really show through. So, um, you know, try to match your thread as much as possible. Uh, and then you can undo the spring tension hoop and the hole is repaired and it's not going anywhere. So mostly for t-shirts, um, I think about repairing the holes so that, that the hole doesn't keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, it's, it's less for, you know, visible mending for me. It's just more about, about structure, like keeping the structure of the, so there you go. Have a good day.